So this is a pair of Audio-Technica uh, MT-20Xs. These are not especially high-end headphones, but they're not super cheap either. Uh, they retail for about 40 to $50, depending on when you buy them, um, and where you buy them from. Um, they are marketed as, um, DJ headphones or studio monitoring headphones, which means that they have a fairly generic sound signature. Um, but that's not a bad thing. That just means that the music will sound accurate. Um, they are, I, I quite like them. I've had them for about a year now. They are my daily driver headphone-wise. Um, I like how the focus is soft. Um, oh well. There we go. It's focused now, and now the phone's ringing. Um, so anyways, I'm just gonna talk over the phone. Actually, I'll pause. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. One second. Okay, I muted the ringer. There we go. Um, so, where was I? I? I've started this clip like ten times, and every time something goes wrong. So now we're just going to keep going because I'm not starting it any more times. Um, but these headphones, they're my daily driver. I've had them for about a year now. Um, they do come with a two-year warranty, but I got them as a gift last Christmas. Um, and I don't have the proof of purchase. And... Anyways, um, I was considering doing a cable delete mod anyways, so rather than trying to dig up the proof of purchase from whoever gave it to me, I'm just going to do a cable delete mod. Which, for those of you who are not familiar with what that is, that is replacing the stock cable, which on these is permanently built in. It was a 10-foot cord that I cut short, so now all I have is this tiny segment left, which I will desolder. Um... Maybe. I will probably actually just end up cutting this really short. Um, and then you take a panel mount 35 millimeter jack, which I'm still waiting on to arrive in the post. Um, so I won't publish this video until that does. I will just edit these two clips together, but I wanted to at least film an introduction um, right now so I don't have to explain the entire project when that arrived because I want my headphones to work. Uh, but I ordered that off Amazon, which I rarely do, um, but I wanted prime shipping. So I can actually use my headphones again. And I paid $5 for a single panel mount 3.5mm jack. I could get 5 for a dollar on AliExpress. Um, so anyways, that's the insanity of Amazon pricing. But um, Anyways. So, so the idea of a cable delete mod is replacing this stock cable with a jack, as mentioned. And the reason I'm doing this now... Um, and have my headphones apart like this, um, before the jack has even arrived, is that, um, well, the cord broke. It didn't break like this, I cut it, but the part that went into the phone, uh, started not working very well. It would make a very intermittent connection, and it wasn't my phone, I tested it, um, on a tablet as well. Um, and... It, wasn't making a very good connection. If you got it, in, if you held the uh, screen relief at just the right angle, it would work. But honestly, no one wants to do that um, because it's painful. And um, I decided that well, I'm gonna do a cable delete mod. So if you want to do that on these headphones, um, based on what I found online and on measurements of resistance I took, because I stupidly cut the cable before I could test continuity, which was stupid of me, but I believe, um, and this was, but I, I took some resistance tests and found that I suspected this here, this goldy wire, was ground, this red wire was right, and this green wire was left, um, and that was confirmed with what I found on a forum about audio, about another pair of Audio-Technica headphones. Um, but I figured Audio Technica is probably going to use the same color code throughout, so we're going to stick with that assumption. I've got a short distance of this little hookup wire here. It's all red, but that's fine. Um, and we are just going to use this to wire up the jack, and then the jack is going to come out here, which is where the cable came out. But we're just going to have a tiny bit of this for the jack. Um, you know, 
shove it through there, put the nut on, wire up the jack, get it all working. All that fun stuff. Um, all the fun stuff of repairing headphones. And then I'll have a removable cable. Um, and if I wanted to buy one of those little Bluetooth receivers on AliExpress, I could even make the pseudo Bluetooth headphones, which I won't do until I buy a phone that doesn't have a headphone jack, which I'm putting off as long as possible. Um, I'm hoping to maintain this G5 for a while, as the hardware is amazing, even if the software leaves a lot to be desired. Um, hopeful, there's very little community ROMs for this phone. It's a phone that has a, the, the people who love it really love it, but there's very few of them. Um, which is a shame. But there may still be some community ROMs for it at one point, because LG, I think, has made it very clear that they're just going to completely abandon this phone. Um, anyways, that's kind of off topic and I'm rambling, but... That is all for now. I'll be back for you in a moment, but for me in a couple of days when the headphone jack arrives. And then um, you guys will get to see pretty soon, and I'll have to wait a few days um, until the headphone jack arrives to see if this mod actually works well and if I got the wire color codes right. Okay, so... Bye. Okay, so uh, the jack came. I just quickly installed it in here. Um... We've got this long lead, which is the negative. Then we have the short lead on the left, which is left positive, and short lead on the right, which is right positive. So we are going to plug in my soldering iron. Um, and start it heating. And then we've got a few little wires out, so we're going to strip them back. I'm going to do that off the camera. These wires are very cheap and very stubborn. There we go. I got a little spool of this wire for about a dollar on AliExpress, which should give you an idea of the quality. It's awful. The insulation on these are, is super rough. Um, but they're, they'll do. Um, I was hoping these would be single core when I bought them. I was I wanted to use them for breadboard. Um, and the seller didn't make it clear whether or not they were single core or multi core. Um, because the seller didn't really say any details about them other than they were wire and what gauge they were. Um, where did I put my solder? I had some solder. I had some solder. I'm gonna just get some more solder. I don't know where I put it. So, anyways, the seller had told me that these were, um, he, he, he just didn't make it clear what type of wire they were. Um, so, we're gonna tin the iron. Tin some of the wire as well. That's a really awful tinning job, but soldering while filming is really hard. Um, this is actually, I think, the first time I've soldered while filming. And I really don't like it. I see what, um... I see what a lot of the other YouTubers who try this go on about. They go on about how they really dislike it.
And all the smoke's getting stuck in there, which is interesting. Um, so we're just hitting the connections on here. And can I do this one with the camera? No, I can't. I'm hitting the tripod. Um, sorry about that. I really just couldn't film and solder. But I've got all of these soldered on to the connector in there. Um, so now we just have to solder them onto the appropriate pads down here. Which means right goes to red. Um, ground goes to gold. And left goes to green. So I think I'm going to stop filming again because I really, really can't film in solder. Um, it's just really hard working around the tripod. Um, and then I'll be back. So we've got a uh, low-end Android phone because I'm filming this with my primary phone. And we have a YouTube video with a left-right audio test loaded up so I can check that I got the um, polarity right and everything like that. We're going to plug in an aux cable. Um, to this very, very stiff jack. Okay, the aux cable's in. And... There is sound, though left and right are reversed. God damn it. Well, I could probably flip it during soft in software. I really don't want to resolder this, though I could. So we're just going to leave it. It works. Um, just note that if you're going to attempt this yourself, make sure you actually get left and right right. That is all for now. Um, thank you for watching, I guess, and I will see you next time with a hopefully more successful repair after I get these back together.